the sake of God, O Lord my God, be not far from me. Make grace to come to my help, O Lord, who my strong in salvation. Son, out of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so for ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have made the sin. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, how I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May my God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to the last life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Lord, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by his gift your faithful offering, right and praise worth the service. Grant we pray that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. For our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. One God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, I rejoice greatly in the Lord. Now, at last, you received your concern for me. You were, of course, concerned about me that want and opportunity. Now that I say this because of need, for I have learned in whatever situation I find myself to be self-sufficient. I know indeed how to live in humble circumstances. I know also how to live with abundance. In every circumstance, and in all things, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of living in abundance, and of being in need. I have a strength for everything through Him who empowers me. Still, it was kind of you to share in my distress. You, Philippians, indeed, know that at the beginning of the Gospel, when I left Macedonia, that a single church shared with me and on account of giving and receiving, accept you alone. For even when I was at the Salonica, you sent me something for my needs, not only once, but more than once. It is not that I'm eager for the gift, rather, I am eager for the profit of your accruise to your account. I have received full payment, and I abound. I am very well supplied because of what I received from you through Epaphroditus, a fragment of Roman, an acceptable sacrifice pleasing to God. My God is fully supplied whatever you need in accord with his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His posterity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Well, for the man of whose gracious lens, who conducts his affairs with justice, he shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. His heart is steadfast, he shall not fear. Lavishly he gives to the poor, 
His generosity that shall endure forever. His horn that shall be exalted in glory. Let us 
blessed may your mercy, may the Holy Spirit guide them and may you let the station to perfect the sanity of life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, if you are a prayer. For those who bear any crosses each day, may God grant them courage and strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, if you are our prayer. For married couples in this great community, May the Holy Spirit guide them in forgiveness, love, and reconciliation in time of your struggle. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died in a special share of the life. May they join the community of saints, praising God in heaven for all eternity. Let us pray for the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In a special occasion of the Lord. So remember about those from our parish community who are going to be confronted. May truly the gift of the Holy Spirit be sent them. May we feel them, power them to be the faithful disciples of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Heavenly Father, we put in you the trust which St. Paul did that whatever circumstance you come and strengthen us. This we ask this for Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for forgiveness we have received the life we offer you, bread we offer you, throughout the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God, all creation, for forgiveness we have received the life we offer you, for divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Praise the Lord in His name, for our good and for all His holy church. It is sacrificial offerings of the Lord who come for you at your oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. hearts. Let us be famous to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for all that we have no need of our thanks, in our thanksgiving is itself eternal. Since our praise us and nothing for greatness, but promise us for salvation for Christ our Lord. And so, in company with choirs and angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Son in your highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skits we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood. O our Lord Jesus Christ, 
At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, the lots for giving things, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this ball of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, and the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be put out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us for faith to be your presence and minister to you. Not only you pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church that for all the great work of the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our throne, Ronald, our bishop, and all the virgin. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Sharon, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Mercy on us, holy pray, that of the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, your spouse, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you for all the ages, we may merit to be conquerors to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At a Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we bear to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for many evil. Gracious, we have peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, peace and be in mind to save you, not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious, we pray for peace and unity in accordance with your will, all of agree forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, with your spirit. Let us honor each other as I have peace.
Jesus, I believe that your class are the most blessed suffering of life. I long you above all things and desire to receive you through my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and make myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so whoever feeds of me shall have life because of me, says the Lord. Let us pray. May the working of your power, Lord, increase in us, we pray, so renewed by this and all sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what you promise. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And we might God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth and announce the gospel of the Lord. And peace be to God.
say, Michael, the Archangel, defend us now. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke you. May God be prayed. And to die the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits from all about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.